The difference between a cup engine and a road engine here comes down to just two key components, the exhaust system and the engine control unit. The individual throttle butterflies come straight out of racing. Fitted into the street legal car, they now provide a much better response behavior. Thus, the driver's commands are implemented instantly and more precise, which impressively underlines the very features of the naturally aspirated engine. The challenge of a high revving engine comes with the masses that need to be accelerated and decelerated time and again. The smaller dimensions of the mass itself, the easier it is to arrange and design it. This engine really needs no sound engineering. We worked especially on the efficiency. Pre-development saw well over 700 simulations before it was fine-tuned in over 160 hours in the wind tunnel. The new 911 GT3 achieves 50% more downforce than the predecessor in its delivery settings. The high downforce setting allowed us to generate 150% more downforce than on the predecessor model. For the first time, these cars are coming with an adjustable front diffuser. Its four different settings can regulate downforce at the front. This continues at the rear. Here we have a fully closed rear diffuser, which generates more than 60 kilograms in downforce at top speed. This time the rear wing is suspended from above. The wing's upper surface is the pressure side that is significantly less susceptible to disturbances. The wing's underside is its suction side and reacts delicately to disturbance patterns. Not only the components, but also the development methods are very much alike those of motorsport vehicles. In the wind tunnel, we don't only simulate straight line driving, but actually check every position the car will take on the track. We let the car yaw, pitch and roll to simulate ambient conditions on the track, which we then improve accordingly.